But yes, Chelsea, you come out here where you can hear me. Just to be quiet. It's what, almost 12 o'clock. It is already 100 degrees outside, 99. But honestly, it's probably 100. Feels like 100 and, I don't even know. Chelsea's already at Callie's house. <laughs> She's already running through the sprinklers, being giggly. She took a lunch and a big water jug and they're playing in the water for like not even a half hour. I bet they're already back inside. Um, so between this friend's parents and us, we're starting to slowly let them hang out inside, um, even though they're not vaccinated. They're totally safe. They're the only ones that play together in their families and stuff, so we're all pretty safe. But uh, so Chelsea and um, Ashley, eventually, when she wakes up, will be able to play in her basement, and they have full AC, like, installed in the house. It's just too hot for them to play outside all day, but they wanted to play in the water, kind of get cooled off, and then kind of be inside with wet swimsuit, which is honestly, like, the best way to do it, to really, like, keep your body temperatures cool. So anyway, Jason is sitting in his own little spot right here. He's doing work, I'm doing work, paid credit card bill that is, like, insane trying to like start to edit videos we had a great day at the lake yesterday or at the river yesterday power outage was, was insane we got our power back on while we were gone i think it came on like at 6 or 6 30 or so yeah the estimated four o'clock time i knew wasn't going to happen sorry moving over to to be in the fan <laughs> it's just too hot but the river was perfect the ice cold water was perfect as soon as you got out you're like yeah i kind of want to get back in uh, so we'll definitely be going back up to the river, especially bringing Kaylee's friends, because as soon as they saw Abby jump off, they were like, we have to bring our friends back here. They're totally going to love doing this. Don't know if they want to get permission from their parents first or a permission or a forgiveness after <laughs> for doing it. We're just, we're trying to just stay cool. We're not doing anything else today. We have a few errands to run, mainly trying to think of errands so we can go sit in an air conditioned car while we drive around for a little bit and then come back home. But aside from Chelsea playing outside, we have no plans to be outside. It's just not safe, especially if we have power out again. I, like I can't imagine, but it, there's a really high chance it'll go out again. Um, the transformer did blow yesterday. People heard it just pop. And then they also heard like, like their lights like kind of flickered. And then every time they flickered and went on, it pop, 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 pop. And it just like did it over and over and over again. Um, it's what people that live closer to the transformer heard that or whatever. It's going to happen again today. We're going to be at least 10 degrees hotter today than we were yesterday. So yeah, it's going to be hot. So we're just going to stay inside, stay cool. I'm going to go drink my water. Jason's already brought me a cold vanilla cream soda, but I forgot to open it. I think I'm going to switch it for another cold one. I've been like holding it on my wrist. If you want to really cool your blood supply put it on your biggest artery right here in your wrist and cool your blood. If you can cool your blood, that goes through your whole body. And like that. And to, for dinner tonight, I kind of were eating out too much, which is why I had a hard time paying for my credit card bill. But I'm gonna try tonight to make my corn on the cob, which is gonna go bad soon, um, but I'm not gonna sit in boil water. So I'm gonna try and actually cook it in my instant pot and someone recommended putting your instant pot like outside to let the steam go outside so you don't even heat up the kitchen from the steam when you do the quick release but i could put it in the garage like no problem i can just plug it in in the garage and let it be out there so i think i'm gonna cook corn on the cob in there and then maybe even some like mini potatoes or something um and then I'm trying to think i think i have some like chicken chicken breasts or something that i could cook in I'm gonna have to do it separate batches, but I'm not, I can't bake. There's no way we can bake or cook today. Jason didn't even want to cook eggs. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet. The kids do need to sleep. Like normally I would wake them up, but we were easily awake until one, if not two o'clock in the morning, because we were just so hot. So they're just needing to like sleep. And Chelsea just doesn't. I don't know, she gets like a solid eight hours of sleep and she's good to go. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, and we're resulting to like, extreme measures. I've got a wet towel on my neck. It's my head wrap. I'm not actually wearing shorts. Just gonna put that out there. I'm wearing underwear and it's, <laughs> the room is closed. I'm not admitting how hot I am right now. He's fully dressed. He's fully dressed. I'm, I'm covered up. We'll just say Whatever, that. Whatever, enough of that. Move on. Okay, but we are, we're gonna, we're gonna come in here. We have not cooled off the main floor of the house 
at all. I need my chocolates. If I need my chocolates, I'm gonna go. Okay, <laughs> so we have not dropped the temperature out there. It's gone from 79 to 78 and back up to 79. It's not making a dent. Let me shut this off for a second. And then I can't hear myself think with this turned on. It is noisy in your own ear. No one's gonna come down here and hang out right here. So there's no point in trying to keep this part of the house like out there cool. Like it's just not gonna happen. And we're gonna take the AC up to our room well before probably six o'clock tonight. We're only a couple hours away from that, like honestly. It's like what, 12, one o'clock, 12.30? Like it took way too long to cool off our room last night and Ashley is still asleep. It's 12.30. So there's no point in trying to cool off the rest of the house. So I'm gonna, he closed off the doors. I'm just gonna turn this AC toward me. I'm gonna go get Jason his chocolate. I've efficiently hid his chocolates from him and it seems to be working so far. I'm gonna go get him a badge and he's gonna come in here with his laptop and a movie, headphones, and I'm gonna edit. And he will hang out with his, lap his laptop and we're gonna stay cooler in here. Like, we're gonna get this room nice and cold. This is gonna feel really good. I might actually be able to put my pants back on, just saying. Um, I wonder what it is outside. Let's look at the temperature outside here. Hang on. Okay, 12.30. What's the tip? I'm looking it up right now. Did you get my chocolates? I haven't. I will. Impatient soul. Okay, 102. Feels like 106. <laughs> Barely 12 o'clock. Oh, so it does say the high is going to be 110. Oh. That's two degrees, two or three degrees cooler than they said it was going to be. Let's see what the hourly actually is. Yeah, 110 at four o'clock is the highest. But even by bedtime, look at that. Eight o'clock. One of them. One in the morning. It's gonna be 80 degrees. It's not gonna cool off at all. So that's fabulous. It already feels like, I mean, with the fan on me, it's already like so much better. Cause I couldn't have the fan on me before. I had to have it facing out the doorway. So we're just gonna hang out in here. We're gonna have a little couple's uh, spa day in here. Poor little Ashley is just passed out. Yeah, she is. She's and so tired. Was slowly up. I know. Kaylee and Abby, they were they stay up too late. Did they wake up? I went. Well, Kaylee was awake. I went, and touched her, surprised her, was woke Abby up. I think she might fall asleep again. Oh. But either way, like. Yeah. I feel, we're gonna have to wake Ashley up because that room is gonna get too hot. I mean, eventually she'll wake up because it's she'll too hot. But I think maybe at one o'clock we should wake her up because she needs to eat and she needs to be out of that hot room. Yeah, where's my chocolates? <laughs> he doesn't care about the health of his child in this She's fine. sweltering She'll hot room. All right, I'll look at his chocolates. You can't watch. Is it in here? I don't know if I should tell you. <laughs> I've already gone through everything I can in here. <laughs> then you haven't found it yet. I know, oh, so it's in here. I knew it was in here. <laughs> I'm trying to go downstairs. You know, closing off rooms. Thanks, love. I appreciate it. Look who woke up. Shut it tight. Alright, I'll find you some. So I've got her a cold gogurt and a cold chocolate milk breakfast drink. She's gonna hang out here on the top while she eats that and then she's gonna go down here and no set up. We need headphones? I know. Well, we had to take the air out a couple hours ago. Yeah. had to come out where you can actually hear me <laughs> and where I can actually show this because we don't have the light on. <sighs> so this package came unexpectedly today. This is a friend um, that we went to college with. It's actually Jason's friend that I got to know when we were dating and <clears throat> she's a master quilter and um, 
<clears throat> she lost her father in the past year as well. And knows the grief that I am feeling. You guys, she sent this whole quilt. And she just said, when you just can't like get over the grief of losing your mom, just hold this quilt. <laughs> I can't right now, it's so hot. You guys, I have to show you how beautiful this is. Like her stuff is gorgeous. She does this all by herself. She's so talented. But she also has like the biggest heart. Thank you. You know who you are. My mom was a quilter too. But had stopped being able to do it because of her arthritis. So I think it's even more special that like someone else that we care and love was able to give us a quilt in her memory. Uh, didn't expect this today. Let me show you this beautiful quilt, you guys. Like, this is beyond, beyond what she needed to do, but she understands grief. She's lost her father. Whew. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, she's a good person. She's a very good person. Very good person. Let me show you this quilt. Isn't this gorgeous, you guys? She like nailed it on a color. She obviously knows me very well. Got the color of the aqua blue. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Huge. Look how big it is, you guys. This is like a perfect couch quilt or a bed quilt. Just lay on the end of my bed. Thank you so much. This is someone, you guys, that we have seen her twice since we got married. Twice in 20 years. And she does something like that. Like, incredible. So, if you watch, you know who you are, and thank you. Beyond meaningful. Like, beyond. <clears throat> I'll probably pass that to my kids. So, thank you. Like, I just don't even know what to say. Because, as I have my <laughs> cold wrap, <laughs> like, my shirt is even wet from this wet rag. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, here's our update as of 3.30. It's 110, but it feels like 116. So that feels hotter than it was in Palm Desert. We don't live in the Palm Desert, people. <laughs> like not a, in anything close to the Palm Desert. What do you want me to get a shot of, Chase? <laughs> just, just trying to stay cool. Yep. All right, where are you going, Chase? Uh, grocery store. What are you getting? Uh, Abby knows. Abby, you're getting stuff to make uh, Oreo balls? Yeah. Right? So she's bored and wants to make something, but without heat. And you can do that with Oreo balls. So they're gonna go get those supplies. I told her she could sit in here on the floor with cookie sheets and make them, like to roll them up. But she says she's fine to do it out there in the kitchen. It's 82 in our kitchen. So that's a no thank you for me. But uh, I'm just gonna keep editing and working on my computer because it feels really good in here. This has been plugged in. I, I had this on to stage the photo <laughs> for this video. This has actually not been working for a couple hours. So I've had to charge it. Okay, you guys go. Well, we're gonna. Okay, so we just ate um, uh, panda. Out, yeah. For right now, crawl under there. Uh, yeah, you can hang out with this fan. Yeah. So Jason set. went and got us some panda. I'm gonna open this up just so we can see and open that up. We, it's eight o'clock, wouldn't tell how bright it is, but it is still going to be 80 degrees clear until midnight tonight. And I've been in this room a little too much right today. Circle. So we are gonna move the AC up, up to our bedroom 
and hope and pray we can actually cool it off faster than we did last night. It is going to be 69 degrees at six o'clock tomorrow morning. We are open windows as soon as we can. I might even set an alarm up. and open windows. Okay, we're gonna help him and we're gonna get it all taken upstairs. All right, we're congregating upstairs now in front of this AC. I think right. your fan thing in the bathroom just blow out the hot air because I think it helped a little bit initially yeah. to get hotter out. Yeah. So go see what I did. Put the fan in the bathroom. Like, what? We don't, I don't care about the bathroom. I know, but that's a hot area. If we get that cool off, well, I don't care. We okay. can bring the fan back in here. Uh. It will be a little colder. Guys, it's so hot in here. So hot in here. Yeah, it's not worth sitting in here, boo. Hello, it's a new day. And, uh, you wanna say hi, Ash? You're up for noon. So it's progress. <laughs> she slept in until just about 11 o'clock today. Um, this is an update as of two days later. I forgot to finish um, filming the night that you just watched. Um, it was excruciating hot. It was so, 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 so bad. I think I finally went to sleep at two in the morning. Yeah, two in the morning. It was still like 99 degrees at oh, like 10 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, the 80 that I just saw and edited, no. It was not 80 degrees at 10 o'clock. It was like 99. <laughs> so it was so hot. I had a wet, like a full towel laying over the top of me, soaking wet. I even put it in the freezer before I went upstairs. Yeah, it was just so hot. I think Chelsea was probably the most comfortable because she had the AC blowing right on her with a fan. So she was the best off. Hang on, I'm trying to put on some new shoes I wanna show you really quick because I got them yesterday but we didn't film yesterday. Like I said, this is two days later after what you just watched. Today, just as an update, I don't know if we're gonna film again today. I'll tell you that reason why. So I didn't film yesterday because it was just kind of a boring day. We didn't do anything, kind of chilled out. It wasn't as hot, but we didn't do very much. I took the girls shopping to get fidget toys. That was kind of all we did yesterday. It was supposed to be warm enough today, supposed to be like 85 today to go swimming. So my father-in-law who has like a condo pool where he lives, reserved, we're still in like COVID, you know, restri not restrictions, they actually end today. Masks are no longer required here in Washington, or at least in our county. He had to sign us up for a swim time at his pool, but that time is in like an hour, you guys. And it is, let's look at my temperature since we're just, this is all about temperature this week. 67, nope, 69. 69 degrees and it is 11.48. What? <laughs> so I literally don't even have air, con air conditioning down here yet. Like I haven't even pulled down the AC unit from upstairs in my bedroom. I have it aimed out into the playroom upstairs, but I still have windows open. It's not even hot. And I texted my father-in-law and said, hey, we're not gonna be coming to the pool in like an hour and a half because it's not warm enough outside. This is normal June weather. Not having it warm enough to go to the lake or the pool in June is normal for Seattle. This is completely normal. <laughs> And he's like, well, I signed you up at one. I was like, we're not coming at one o'clock. It'll be barely 70 degrees at one o'clock. So I don't know what we're gonna do today. I was going to film and we were gonna go to the pool for the first time and it was gonna be super fun. Maybe once it gets to be 80 degrees, if there's still a spot at the pool open, we'll go this afternoon. But I'm just gonna sign off with you today. But I also wanna show you my shoes really quick because Jason got me a new pair of sandals for the summer. I actually have gotten three pairs of sandals this year. One, because my first flip-flop broke right before we went to Hawaii, so I got that pair. And then my sister's dog ate, the, that, ate that replacement pair. So I got another pair while I was in Utah last, like, couple weeks ago. But I just wanted something cuter because the, the, the flip-flops that I got up there in the other room, they're kind of manly. In fact, I think they are men's shoes, <laughs> but they're very comfortable. So I wanted something cuter when I like, like yesterday I had a nice sundress on and it was nice and flowy and cute. And then I had these ugly brown flip flops. So let me show you my new shoes and then we're gonna sign off and we'll see you next time. Look how cute these are. 
they're keen so they're super comfy they've got good arch you actually can't see the arch it's underneath that elastic strip right there but they are elastic bands so they stretch and hold you in tight and they have like this cute like it's almost like a sunset mountain I don't know it's really cool and they're neutral enough but with enough color to like go with an outfit and they actually went with my little dress I had on yesterday perfectly with this like pinky color right there anyway kind of cute so that'll be fun to have those for the summer